Hello, NASDAQ followers, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Bell. My name is Jordan Sachs, and I'm the head of healthcare capital markets at NASDAQ. Joining me today is Sean Moret, Chief Business and Commercial Officer of the now NASDAQ-listed company, BioNTech. Thank you for sitting with us today, Sean. No, thank you for inviting me. Great. So tell us a little bit about the company and your mission. Yeah, so BioNTech is a German biotech company. Mm focused on uh, personalized immunotherapies as a really um, for each patient developing a specific product for that patient and we're, we're, we're about 1,100 employees now Wow! and um, have a number of technologies in our arsenal we use mRNA uh, which is a new technology and that's what BioNTech stands for bio new technologies and we also use CAR T, so uh, immune cells uh, loaded with a target uh, receptor, okay. uh, and small molecules and antibodies. Very, very exciting. Yeah. Cutting edge. Cutting edge. So, how is your company looking at healthcare and re reimagining the healthcare industry? Yeah, well, I think that if you look at the overall healthcare market today and what's happening, um, there's a lot of uh, molecular analysis of tumors and what we do is we take that information and make immunotherapies with it, um, really targeting the cancer and because each patient's cancer is different, mm. um, we calibrate the treatment from our um, portfolio to the patient itself and that's really, really uh, the fundamental focus of the company. It's fascinating. So, what distinguishes your collaborations from those of the many other biopharma companies out there? Yeah, so in oncology, which is our, our, our main focus, um, we tend to uh, do 50-50 cost-sharing, profit-sharing relationships with our pharma partners. We have one with Genentech, we have one uh, with Genmab, and we have, uh, we have one with, with Sanofi. Interesting. Uh, one of the things I thought was so interesting is the investors that are involved in the company. So what did Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation think when they were looking at you? What inspired them to invest in your company? Yeah. So uh, one of the uh, other strands of the business that we're building is infectious disease. And we use all of those platforms that I mentioned for that application. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is very focused on developing um, products and supporting the development of products for people uh, where there is really uh, no treatments available and, and we're helping them in the tuberculosis and HIV arena to develop such products which can be used for the developing world. Amazing. So how does the association now that you're listed on NASDAQ impact the company going forward? Yeah. So, so we're, we're, we're a German company, but biotech is, of course, a global business. Mm -hmm. uh, and NASDAQ and our aspirations are absolutely aligned together in terms of uh, what we want to do, which is to build a global business. And there's no other uh, exchange that we believe would be more appropriate than being on the NASDAQ. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I guess I couldn't end an interview without asking about milestones and, and data. What is the next major milestone and what should investors focus on? Yeah, so we've got um, eight programs already in the clinic, uh, eight different programs. We've got a further program going into the clinic this year uh, and a number of additional programs going into the clinic next year. Um, next year itself, over the next 15 months, we have up to five clinical readouts from our programs, five different clinical uh, readouts, which, which, um, which we, of course, will be uh, announcing to everyone. Wow. Very exciting. Stay tuned. <laughs> so, Sean, thank you for joining us. And NASDAQ followers, please follow Beyond Tech with its ticker symbol BNTX. Stay tuned for more updates from the NASDAQ market site. Until then, we're signing off. Thanks for watching.